11 with Tom Selleck. That's a good one too. <laughs> Why are you always sending people to my Tom Selleck episode, for God's sakes? Just because I said a- that I had a sex dream about blowing Tom Selleck. It well, that's pretty memorable. It was the <laughs> only gay dream I've ever had. Thank you. Are you sure? Liar. And I don't even apologize for it because, again, Tom Selleck is worthy regardless. He's he's Tom Selleck. Still not over it, are you? No, I'm, he won't call me You're back. You're stuck in that, aren't you? <laughs> he won't call me back. Stuck in it. He won't at me. He won't at me anywhere. Um, Why don't you just, just take me? <laughs> I just can't quit you, Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, besides Tom Selleck, do you guys have any other weird obsessions going on right now? Uh, I am obsessed. I So in my office, you can't, you can see part of my office. You can see the ladder behind me. Sorry, viewers, you can't. Uh, people listening, you can't. But I have a loft space in my office that was just blank and it has a little window, but we didn't use it for anything. And Carson created a little corner for me and I'm obsessed with it. So it's for like reading and meditating and, you know, color therapy, that kind of stuff. But you have to climb a ladder to get there? Well, it's a loft, Brian. How do you suggest getting up there? (laughs) Well, we usually have stairs to our loft. I don't know what you do over there in Trickmanistan or wherever the heck you are at. Trickmanistan, yes. And Trickmanistan, we install <laughs> and we install ladders to reach places we can't reach. And I'm five feet tall, so that's quite a few places. But it has like a nice little lounge up there and all my books are up there and it's a beautiful little window and I'm obsessed with living up there and I might just migrate to that space. I'm obsessed with it. It's very cute. And it's very Sarah cute. in our group text goes oh my gosh how cute is cassie's corner <laughs> i love it so much <laughs> and i well, <laughs> searching for so long i'm like i don't want to feel like an idiot so i'm like Googling cassie's corner and like things that you well, don't want to see pop up when you google sure cassie's corner yeah no it was funny because when i came home from work uh kirsten <laughs> i came home and kirsten's like don't go in the office and my office is very small like there's not a lot of room in here so i'm like what's he doing in the office I'm like okay and he actually managed to convert a space that i didn't even know we could really convert so it was fun it's my little corner now i'm gonna live in it well i was loving one weird obsession which is not very weird but um tell me more Tell yeah, I'm reading anymore. the notes and it looks boring as hell. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm confused as to why this is in the notes, but I'm patiently waiting for your response. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm not going to do that one. Oh, oh what okay. the fuck? Why do we do but notes then? Everybody yeah, why do download we? Dateline podcast because it's amazing they don't have that many commercials yet. Is so it hosted by Barbara Walters? It's by all of them. Lester oh. Holt, Keith Morrison. They can put you to sleep without commercials. And it all send you like the one where it had so many turns and all that hmm. other stuff. And they don't have that many commercials. It's it's like watching Dateline without having to fast forward through pharmaceutical commercials. So How riveting. Uh, what, uh, I'm sorry. It, ironically riveting. <laughs> Sorry, I loved it. Anyway, that's not going to be my weird. Obsession. Well, you just you prefaced oh, it with it. It can put you to sleep. Yeah, that's a weird obsession. Your weird Keith obsession Morrison. is to listen to Dateline Lord. podcast to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm well, no, but I would like Keith Morrison's voice on my ways, and I've started a movement trying to get that to happen because I feel like he could make the traffic worth it. I don't know who Keith Morrison is. I don't yes, know you who do. They are oh, the pesky Dean. Okay, fuck all. Of it. If you don't, you know, <laughs> if you say you don't know who Keith Morrison is, who dat? We who dat? can't be friends. Oh, the pesky DNA. New phone. Who dis? Okay. <laughs> New okay, microphone. You know who what? dat? <laughs> all right. So that's not going to be my weird obsession, apparently. Um, but it could do everyone some good. But mm-hmm. there was one of our listeners sent us the most amazing link and he said this might work oops sorry yeah just hit the microphone again jimmy listen last podcast 
I forgot we were like, I'm like, I've been doing sober October and Cassie goes, you do know it's November. I'm like, it's November 1st. (laughs) Oh, you're right. I don't have to be sober, but I am such a lightweight. And I've got a whole month to make up for. And this is all the wine I have left. I'm very sad. I've been doing very well. I've had like two drinks still and it's the eighth. So I'm doing pretty great. Anyway. um, So cheers. Congrats. Um, <laughs> so, Please stop toasting your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, cheers to Sergio. Um, I hope he doesn't mind me using his real name, but his I'm gonna post name. the link. And it is if you guys scroll the notes. Um, yep, he put it in. It is if you scroll it down. That is the baby. <sighs> No unicorn. They are real dolls. Can you put like the Shrek and some of the other ones? Yeah, These let me just like... stop what I'm doing and go grab some of the other ones. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to be no fair, yeah. Brian. Come on. Thank you, Cass. Yep. Be a team player. Yep. <laughs> be a team player. Uh, because this is so great for radio. Like, let's talk about these photos that we're looking at. A, <laughs> we'll post them later. Yeah, and a this. we're not on the radio. Okay. Yeah, true. We, we're, we're not on the radio. Uh, that would require sponsorship. Ah. Ad space. Which we're good at giving, but not getting. Chatty check. check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He just posted no more. Okay. And what add, is happening? These are so real these dolls. are these. Yeah. Have you heard? Uh, like, there's a, actually a real. They they make these lifelike babies that you can buy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And and now these are all preemie sized. I'm sorry, I just hit my microphone because I'm doing a Jenny. Um, but these are all, but they but they actually have these stores where you can go and you can actually customize a baby that looks kind of like your own baby, and it is creepy AF, like Who super creepy. The fuck created a baby with horns and wings. So that these, looks like you. Yeah. Do you see that pacifier chain? Is that a pacifier like dildo? No, it's just a pass for outer chain, but I, it's so weird. Where does but it end, it, though? We are sitting here <laughs> describing photos for fuck's sake, people. Anyways, go to uh, where the hell is this again? At it got weird pod on yes, go to it got IG, weird pod. Twitter, and Facebook. We'll post. And I, I'd like to say that um, I'm looking at the prices of these artificial babies, and they uh-huh. go from one hundred thirty-eight dollars to mm-hmm. thirteen hundred and eighty-two dollars. Yeah. If you want to get the um, one that looks like a little, uh, like a I pervert, don't know, it's, uh, yeah, it's creepy, 15, creepy pervert, fifteen hundred and fifty-five dollars. Yeah, I don't want a real baby. I would never pay this much for a fake one. <laughs> 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 no thanks. <laughs> but they're all dressed up like little animals. And if I had all the money stuff. in the world, this one. So the one you put into our feed to discuss really threw me off. It's called Baby Unicorn. Um, uh-huh. It has a little pink mohawk, but you can see it's labia, and that freaks me out. Well, in the description, it says, can drink and pee. I'm not a fan of that. In any <laughs> no. I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. Um, I think this is a pedophile's dream come true, and they're disguising it as toys, and I don't like it. It's weird, and, um, and and you just made it a bad turn. But anyways, there's a whole group of like these. I'm sorry, was that not obvious? <laughs> lifelike <laughs> babies that you can get, and they do cost a ridiculous amount of money. So, I don't like thanks, it. Sergio. <laughs> you definitely made it weird. Um, so, Brian. Yes. You know, in the realm of actually weird things, what yes, are you obsessed obsessions. with? I am obsessed. I've had like, I've made, now I have all the coffee stuff at my office. Like I've got the Keurig, I've got that stuff. I got a French press. I have made my third trip to, there's a gas station chain in our area called Come and Go. Yeah. Stations, which is ridiculous. It's, it's K-U-M and Go. Like, I don't know where, like, I don't know, like, if, like, the words come, C-O-M-E and go was, like, taken or something, and they were like, well, we can't do C-U-M and go, so we're going to go K-U-M and go, and we'll, like, well, anyways, but their coffee is amazing. They have, like, the, and I know that this is, like, a third world country 
problem, but they have like the, like they have like these coffee machines that grind the coffee right there per cup, the whole nine yards. They got like eight different types of coffee. I literally get better coffee there than I get at Starbucks. And I'm obsessed with the fact that I go to a gas station and get to get this amazing coffee. But that brings me up to my new weird obsession, which is how many things that we do nowadays that aren't what they're supposed to be. Like you, like I know you can get coffee at a gas station, but like okay. the uh, Capital One banks now, like you go into like the the urban Capital One banks, and it's not even a bank. They don't even have tellers. It's like a it's like an internet cafe, you know. So everything needs to be something else nowadays for these millennials. Where did you go to a Capital One lounge? There, um, that's personal. Piss off. Okay, I don't sorry. What? Well, okay. <laughs> I didn't ask you for like your account number. I mean, I travel. I go and do shit. I don't go to home and stuff. But I mean, like I have traveled. What you deem personal is weird. I've not been invited to Holland yet, by the way. Yeah, can any of you are welcome at any point in time? We have a spare room. No, I want to sleep in the loft. I want to be in Cassie's corner. Corner. (laughs) You can sleep in my corner, but you can't bring technology up there. So those are the rules. What the. There's a, you can't take technology up there? No, there's no technology allowed. <laughs> only 10 feet away. Yes, only down Why here. Why do you have to make rules for everybody else? If you don't want to take technology up there, I get that. But I'm just saying like... You're going to pollute I... the area with your technological waves. Stay out oh of it. Oh my okay? God. You go I into my zone, you obey my rules. Those right, are fine. the rules. <laughs> okay. I'll get, a, I'll get an Airbnb. Sarah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, do you have any obsessions currently? I do. I don't think they're that weird. Mostly, like my current one would be a Netflix show called Insatiable. Have Ooh. you guys heard of this? Oh, no. Yes. No, but I'm looking it up. It's really good. It's it's about a girl that was really fat and she got really skinny because she got punched in the mouth by a homeless guy, so her jaw got sewn <laughs> shut for like seven weeks. She that got is the skinny. that is the best log line of a TV series ever, <laughs> right? So now she's in pageants, so she can get revenge on everybody that was a really good asshole to her. And uh, there is everything: there's gay sex, there's threesomes, there's killing. Like, there's it murder. sounds like it's a cross between like the Stephen King, the Carrie, and like Ten Things I Hate About You. Yeah, you know, a little <laughs> bit. Honestly, that's a good description. <laughs> but Alyssa Milano is in it. There's some big names in it. And it's, it's huh, really addicting. Cool. Yeah. So. I so. Oh, gosh. What's so the name of it again? Insatiable. 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 Going to write it down. Her <laughs> hunger is insatiable. So <laughs> do you think for your um, fat ball challenge team, fat the ball. mashed potatoes, which are going to win, Do you think it would benefit us to hire someone to go and punch them in the face to break (laughs) their jaw so they only have to drink through a straw? Yes, Brian. Volunteers tribute. (laughs) It might work. I mean, it was on TV, so. It's bound to work. (laughs) Brian. You guys could just have Lex and Terry kick the shit out of me for never listening to the station yet. I'm sure they'd be happy to hire someone to do that. (laughs) I'm sure we can find someone who would do it for free. I'm sure you could. I'll give you a list. (laughs) I don't even need your list. I think I can figure out a couple. Oh, God. I have no one. Oh, man. Well, follow us once again on it got weird pod on ig twitter facebook rate review and subscribe it helps so much on itunes and we'll be posting all of those creepy photos of the real life babies the baby unicorn um i think i saw one that was like a baby shrek and some other awesome photos as well so just follow us it's a decent time i'm not gonna say it's a good time it's a decent time So I sent you guys a picture yesterday, and this will also be sent in, but we have danced around what I do for a living, and I'm still not going to give that away, but I was assisting two clients. One- Ooh, it's a two for day, huh? It's a two for day. One 
I needed assistance with a hoarder. And I went into the house and I thought the first odd thing with the situation was when I knocked on this client's door 